Hi, this is Victor bringing you the fourth interesting topic that is tight control of blood pressure in pregnant women with non-severe hypertension. Expectation for decreasing adverse maternal and fetal pregnancy outcome. It has been controversial regarding blood pressure levels at which antihypertensive drug therapy should be started and the adequate blood pressure goal to be achieved following antihypertensive therapy in women with hypertensive disorders of pregnancy, which includes chronic hypertension as well as hypertension occurring at or after 20 weeks of gestation. The Japan Society for the Study of Hypertension in Pregnancy Committee previously recommended that antihypertensive drug therapy should be initiated for pregnant women with severe hypertension that is more than 160 by 110 millimeters of mercury and blood pressure should be maintained at systolic in range of 140 to 160 and diastolic in the range of 90 to 110 millimeters of mercury. However, considering the recent recommendations of other guidelines like International Society for Study of Hypertension in Pregnancy and National Institute of Health and Care Excellence and landmark trial like Control of Hypertension in Pregnancy Study, that is CHIP study, the Japanese committee has changed the recommendation in 2021 to following. Antihypertensive drug therapy should be used in pregnant women with severe hypertension for whom blood pressure level equal to or more than 160 by 110 millimeters of mercury are repeatedly observed. However, it is possible to start antihypertensive drug therapy in pregnant women with blood pressure levels that are more than 140 by 90 millimeters of mercury at the discretion of attending physician. Secondly, the blood pressure goal following antihypertensive drug therapy in pregnant women with hypertension should be less than 130 by 85 millimeters of mercury. Now, there has been concern that tight control of blood pressure in pregnancy might be associated with the occurrence of non-reassuring fetal status and or fetal growth restriction. In a meta-analysis of 45 randomized controlled trials, including 3,773 women with mild to moderate pregnancy hypertension, in which either placebo or antihypertensive therapy was administered to control, the antihypertensive therapy was associated with higher incident rates of small for gestational age infants as well as lower mean birth weight. In another meta-analysis of randomized controlled trial including 63 trials with 5,909 women, the use of antihypertensive drugs had no effect on the risk of small for gestational age infants. However, in the recent guidelines of International Society for the Study of Hypertension in Pregnancy, it is recommended that the target blood pressure for antihypertensive therapy should be a diastolic blood pressure of 85 millimeters of mercury regardless of the systolic blood pressure. Thus, warranting further studies on tight control of blood pressure in pregnancy and its benefit. Thank you, dear doctors. As I sign off with this podcast series, I hope you like my topics and podcasts. Thank you for listening and wish you all a good health. Bye-bye.